All right, joining us now to talk all things market, economy, jobs, Fed, Phil Orlando, chief equity market strategist with Federated Hermes, and Ron Insana, CNBC senior analyst and commentator and co-CEO of Contrast Capital Partners. Gentlemen, welcome. Good to have you with us. Ron, you say the Fed is hell-bent on ruining a good economy. Yeah, what's really? wrong with these numbers? I mean, yeah. the reason that the, we believe they're going to raise rates two more times, if you look first at the wage data about which they're supposed to be so concerned, 4.4 percent with inflation coming down. So wages are going up faster than inflation. In normal times, we would say that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. The New York Federal Reserve yesterday, Tyler, put out a very interesting and new, in, relatively new indicator called the multivariate <laughs> trend core PCE. It's a different Well, that just of rolls inflation. off the tongue. Doesn't it, though? Mm. That took me about a couple times to get that one right before I came on. Um, what it does is break down the inflation rates and shows which inputs are sticky and which are transitory, if you will, for lack of a better description. And the rate came out at 3.5 percent. That's 1.1 percentage points below where core PC is right now. So actually, inflation is falling. There's good news for the Fed. Wage gains are moderating. Employment growth is moderating. As we discussed last week, we're getting very close, in my estimation, my humble opinion, to a Goldilocks scenario. I don't think the so Fed So your, your recommendation would be to the Fed, if you were there, oh. just let keep on pausing. Keep on pausing. I mean, four times ago I would have said that, but, you know, I think they've done enough, and I don't think they – I don't know what they're trying to do. How about that, Phil? Oh. Keep on pausing, or do, do they need to – show their resolve, let me put it that way, by raising rates one more time, two more times maybe? Well, we're sort of in that one or two more hike camp. And, and you know, Ron makes an excellent point with the uh, decline in inflation. But one of the things that the market seems to be struggling with is the decline in the pace of headline inflation versus core inflation. The, the core inflation uh, is coming down, but at a much more gradual pace. The market seems to be focused on the headline inflation. And, and the Federal Reserve keeps coming out and telling us uh, we're focused on core inflation. We are forecasting a 2.2% core PCE number at the end of calendar 25. That's two and a half years from now. And so, therefore, we're going to remain vigilant and hawkish until we think we've got this thing under control. Um, you look at today's jobs report, you know, uh, the non-farm payroll part of it was soft. The, the uh, revisions from April and May were soft. But there were other elements of this report which were pretty robust. The household survey, uh, the wage numbers, the hours worked. Um, so there, there's, there's something in this report for everyone. And I think if the Fed is, is, is hell-bent on tightening on July 26th, they, they found something in this report to justify well, that. Let me just make sure that I'm, I'm clear here. Uh, my question was really not so much what do you expect the Fed to do, and it sounds like you expect the Fed to raise rates one or two more times. I think Ron's point was, well, maybe they will do that, but it's probably not the right move. So is, is it your opinion that, that raising rates one or two more times is called for? Is, is the smart move to, to wrestle inflation to the ground without damaging uh, what Ron calls, uh, you know, uh, ruining a, a pretty good economy? Look, the, the reality is that the Federal Reserve is there looking at the Phillips curve trade-off, is saying, OK, look, we've got an inflation problem. We don't want to have to keep hiking interest rates to increase the rate of unemployment, slow the, the rate of growth in the economy, and push the economy in recession because we want to. We're doing this because we feel we have to. And the reality is that they feel that elevated levels of core inflation above that 2% target that they've established mm -hmm. is, is, a, is a worse uh, result for the economy, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we've got to take that bitter medicine.